In 1848, Delacroix revolutionized the art of fruit and flower painting. He was working at his country house, Champ Rosé, when he began to paint big, bold, extravagant pictures of flowers and fruit. He turned what had been a dainty and delicate genre into something quite extravagant, a place where artists could show off their talent at pure painting. This had a huge effect on the young generation of artists, and for the next several decades, you see all the boldest uh, painters also attempting to do uh, flower and fruit pieces in this way. One of them certainly was Paul Gauguin. Gauguin's guardian, a man named Gustave Arroza, was a major collector of Delacroix's works. Gauguin could study them whenever he visited him. Uh, he was rather infatuated by Delacroix. And even years later, 1896, working in Tahiti, he began to paint big flower pieces such as this one in the mode of Delacroix, kind of an homage uh, to uh, Delacroix. And indeed, this very beautiful picture uh, was acquired later by Edgar Dugas, another passionate admirer of Delacroix's work.